Hello, everyone, and welcome to Discovery Day. Um, before I get started, I want to say thank you to our sponsors, the Chickasaw Nation, for making free family fun possible. But let's go ahead and get started. So this is our museum located in Midtown and near downtown Oklahoma City. Um, and here at the Oklahoma Hall of Fame, we believe in telling Oklahoma's story through its people. Um, so we tell the inspiring stories of Oklahomans day after day. And the Oklahoman we are featuring today is Oklahoma Hall of Fame member Reggie Witten. Reggie Witten is co-founder of Professionals for Africa, a nonprofit organization in which professionals of all occupations lend support to the less fortunate in Africa. Um, and in partnership with the Sam Noble Oklahoma Museum of Natural History, Witten co-founded Explorology and Native Explorers education programs that make science exciting, that make science exciting for young people. Um, so he has adventure at his heart um, and he loves to explore. Um, and so we are inspired by Mr. Witten today and we are going to be reading Away in My Airplane. So let me go ahead and stop sharing my screen. Go ahead and grab my book and get ready. Um, all righty. Like I said, today we are reading Away in My Airplane by Margaret Wise Brown, illustrated by Henry Fisher. Riding along in my airplane. There, he, there they are in the airplane. Over the clouds and through the rain. So there's even the ocean there at the bottom with a whale. Riding along in my airplane, sometimes I meet a bird way up high in the sky. I bet he meets, I bet they meet more than one bird. Flying almost as fast as I fly, but not as high. I bet the, the birds fly just as high. Riding along in my airplane above the city below. Out of the sunlight and into the rain. That sure is a long scarf. And out of the clouds and sun again, riding along in my airplane. So look, there's some hot air balloons up there um, with the carnival down below. Still with that long scarf, that's impressive. Down below the people go very small and very slow. They look like bugs and ants and flies. I wonder if they realize what they look like to my eyes. So there's the people all down below. That person looks like they're riding a the bike. Um, there's even a picnic down here. And they all look like little bugs. Riding along in my airplane, with all the other cool planes in the sky. I wave to the sun and I shout to the rain. There they are shouting to the rain. Then with a roar of my motors that drowns me out, I dash straight up in the sky and wheel about. There they are wheeling all about. I plunge through the sunlight. I hurl through the rain going upside down through the rain even. Then I glide down to the earth in my airplane. So there they are with the family all snug and warm. And that is the end of our story. Um, so I really enjoyed that story. Um, and we are gonna make actually something, not an airplane, but we're gonna make something that you can explore up in the sky with. And we are gonna be making our very own our very own hot air balloon. Um, so today, this is what we're gonna be making for our craft. Um, so let me get our, 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 all of our supplies out so we know what we need. 
Um, and let me go ahead and switch my camera back over so we can see what we're working with. So we're gonna need one piece of construction paper like this. Um, that's gonna be our sky. Um, and then we're going to need five paper circles, um, like so, different colors. Um, I only have I only have four, so we're going to do four today, but you can do it with as many as you want or as few as you want. Oh, there's my fifth one. Um, we're going to need a brown piece of paper for our hot air balloons basket. We're going to need a white crayon um, or a, a, some kind of crayon to draw some clouds. Um, and then we're going to need a piece of yarn. Um, so our first step um, oh, I have a knot in my yarn, so uh, my first step is going to be to untie that. Um, but while I do that, our first step, um, I'm going to take, once I get this yarn untangled, I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it right down the middle of my sheet of paper just like this, and I'm gonna cut off the excess parts I don't need. So I'm gonna cut there. And you might have to cut a few times with the scissors. Sometimes yarn doesn't like to cut very evenly. So there we go. Um, and so I'm going to take this with my piece of yarn down the middle of one side. I'm gonna flip my paper over and I'm gonna tie, glue down the ends of my yarn. Um, and so this is gonna be one of the strings for our balloon that keeps it attached. Um, and if you want, sometimes it helps with the yarn, you can even glue over the yarn. Um, but I put glue down underneath it as well, help it stick. Um, and so that, like I said, that's just gonna be one way that we're gonna attach our balloon to our basket. Um, and so our paper should look about like this. Um, so you can kind of see, I have the, the yarn going through there. Um, and so you wanna set that to the side. Our next step, if you're gonna take our brown piece of paper um, and we're going to draw a basket on there. And so you can do whatever kind of basket you want. I'm gonna do a big and kind of round basket, um, but I'm still going to do a flat bottom on it so it can still land flatly. Um, um, but there's also something about baskets. Baskets are sometimes made out of fiber known as wicker, um, so they have lots of different strands. Um, so I'm going to design my basket to make it look like it is a real basket. So I'm just gonna draw lines over that. And those are gonna kind of look like my different strands, the different materials that they use to make the basket. Um, and so I'm gonna draw these lines going this way and I'm gonna draw another set of lines going the other way. Um, and so my hope, like I said, is that it'll look like a basket. Although the one I made earlier it kind of looked like an ice cream cone and not a basket. So maybe I'm just making a big ice cream cone, but otherwise. Um, so that's my basket and I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. Uh, I'm gonna do it very carefully, just around the lines I drew. And so, there we go. So there's my basket. Um, and so my next step, uh, before I glue my basket down to my piece of paper, I'm actually gonna take one of these excess pieces of yarn and cut it in half. Um, and so with that cut in half, I'm going to glue it to the top of my basket and those are going to be two more ways that the balloon and the basket are connected. Um, and so those will tuck underneath the top of the basket here and then they'll also tuck underneath the bass the balloon up at the top. So that's just one way we're going to do that. And 
So there's that. Um, but I'm going to need to put glue all over the rest of the bottom of my basket. Oh, you guys can't see. There we go. Um, and so there we go, putting glue all over the rest of it. Um, just enough to make it stick. Ooh. I had to, see, I had my piece of yarn stick to the back, but you can just gently pull it off. Um, and so when you set it down, if you pull the yarn forward, um, and then you can set the basket wherever you want. You can set it in the middle of the paper. You can set it towards the bottom. Um, but you just want those pieces of yarn coming out of the top so you can connect it to the balloon at the top of your paper, at the top of the, the basket. So here's oops, some of my glue on the back got stuck. So be careful not to get glue stuck on the back as well. Um, but my next step is I'm going to take uh, my circles. Um, and so you're going to take one at a time. Um, and so let me walk through the procedure um, and the, the steps before we go ahead and do that. Um, you're going to take one at a time. You're going to fold it in half. Um, and then you're going to take one half and you're going to put glue on it. Um, and then you're going to put that half down. And so with that half glued down, then you're going to take your next piece of paper, fold it in half, put glue on one side of it, and you're going to attach it to this one. Um, and then you're going to repeat that steps, th those steps until you run out of circles. Um, but I'm going to go through it and, and walk us through it one step at a time. So again, like I said, we're going to fold it in half. We're going to put glue on one side. Mm, that's more than enough. And so with our glue down, so I'm gonna go ahead and put, oh, I'm gonna make sure I get it all the way on my piece of paper. And I'm gonna center it. And so I'm gonna put it about right there. And then, so like I said, that's gonna be folded in half. So if you want to take your glue step, you can put more glue on this half now. Um, be careful not to pull up the half you already glued down. Um, and so then with the next circle, you'll fold this one in half. And so with this one folded in half, if you'll put glue on one half on one side. Oh, need a little more glue. Um, so you put the glue on one side and you attach it here. So there we go. Um, and you're going to repeat that, like I said, with every balloon until you get done, or every um, circle until you run out. Um, it can be five, um, it can be four. I have five, so I'm going to do all five, um, but you can also then do as many as you want. <coughs> um, but we're going to be making very colorful hot air balloons today. Um, and so I, I'm curious if any of our friends have had the opportunity to ride in a hot air balloon. Um, if any of our friends are brave enough, because um, I definitely feel like you, don't, you have to be brave to do that. Um, and if you are, that's awesome. That sounds like a really cool experience. I'd probably go up in a hot air balloon. So I think that that'd be something that I would like to do at some point. I haven't yet. Um, but I don't know if you guys know this, but today hot air balloons come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, um, all sorts of different colors. Um, and there's even hot air balloon festivals um, throughout the United States. Um, so look up every so often, and you might see one here in the sky here in Oklahoma. Um, but the big festivals are in New Mexico. So um, but I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, fold that in half, put glue on one side. I didn't put glue on this piece of paper, but I'm going to go ahead and put a little glue down. So it'll stick a little better. And again, I'm going to take this and just fold it and press it down on this piece of paper. Um, so that's one, two, three, and four. So I have one more, and it's my orange one. 
I'm gonna fold that in half. It's the last one. I'm gonna fold in half. And again, with half of it folded, I'm gonna put glue on one side. I'm gonna put some glue on this side of this circle. And help it stick a little better. Awesome. And so then that'll stick there just like that. And so that is the last of my circles for my balloon. So I have five different colors, but I have to get the other side of my balloon attached. Um, so before we do that, um, before we put the glue down, I'm going to pull my yarn straight. Um, make sure it's straight in line. Um, and then I'm going to put glue all over this. Oh, my glue. Uh, okay. Keep going. Put a little more glue on there. Um, and so this is going to fold down. And so you're going to put it on the other side. And you're going to glue it across over here. And so press down hard. And so there is our balloon, say, even a little three-dimensional. Um, so that's our balloon with our basket um, and our, our different colors. Um, but we have one more, a couple more steps. Um, when you're flying through the, the sky, there's also clouds in the sky. So I'm going to add a couple clouds to mine. So I don't know if y'all can see them barely, but I promise they're there. Say so I might do a black cloud so y'all can see it, just to show you what, what all I'm doing. Um, and you can do whatever kind of cloud you want. Um, if you've ever seen an Oklahoma sunset, um, sometimes the clouds are red and, and orange and pink and all sorts of different colors. Um, so here's what my clouds look like. And I'm just kind of coloring them in, making them look like clouds, making them look nice and fluffy, because um, I like fluffy clouds. But you can do whatever you want with your clouds, make them look however you want. So, and I'm going to do a couple more. So, one on the other side, probably down here. Color that in. And I'm going to do one more after this. So there's all different types of clouds. Some are, some are puffy like this, um, and they come in all different sa shapes and sizes. And I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna do kind of a thin one right here, like that. So that's my last cloud. Um, but the last thing I'm gonna draw, um, and if you go up in, in, in the air, I'm sure you'll see lots of it. I know when we were reading our story, they saw birds. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw a couple birds. Um, and so if you'll just draw like a check that way and then a check the other way, that looks like a bird kind of flying in the distance. Um, and so I'm gonna draw a few of those. Um, but you can draw birds however you want. Um, for me, this is, this is the best way I can draw birds. Um, and so this is how I'm gonna go ahead and do my birds, but you can do any type of bird you want, however you want. And I'm gonna do one more up here. Awesome, so now there's birds flying all over the sky. Um, and so that is it for my, my hot air balloon. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over the camera um, and show y'all over here. Um, but like I said, that is my hot air balloon. Um, it's got its, it's, it's attached to its basket right there. Um, it's got its nice basket. Uh, but that is all I have for y'all today. Um, that is all we have for craft time today. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Thank you for joining us here for Discovery Day. We can't wait to see y'all next week, and we can't wait to see what we have in store. Um, and so we look forward to seeing everybody next week. Bye.